there were times along the journey where we couldn't be together because I knew the way he was showing up for me was not what I wanted, deserved or needed at the time. But in that time, I held firm on my belief of what I knew he could be and what I knew we could be. I held firm on that. Hi everybody, it's me, Cory T, and in today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is how to help your person become the best version of themselves, not only for you, but for them as well. Because if you think about it, everybody wants to become the best version of themselves. If you can be the person that sees through their stuff and sees through their bullshit and you see the man or the woman that you believe that they can be, it's such a powerful, loving thing to be able to do. And if you hold firm on that belief in seeing the person as you believe that they can be, one day they will thank you for it. What I've received from that unexpectedly is my person saying, you've always believed in me. You've always seen me as the person that I could be, even when I was doing this and that and everything was wrong and I didn't believe in myself, you saw me. He said to me the other night, it's amazing because what happens is, you believe that I can be better and then it happens. You are actually magic. And I thought, oh my God, I actually am. Am I a witch? <laughs> What's happened here? Because I really did believe it since the day I met him. I saw the man that I wanted him and believed that he actually was. And then he's grown over the years and over time. He's grown into the man that I've always believed he could. And is he mad about it? No, he's so over the moon about it. He's so happy about it. He's so happy with the person that he's becoming. And that is such a joy for me to be able to see the person that I love becoming more and more happy with himself, becoming more and more at peace with himself, becoming more and more okay with everything around him and learning and growing as I am too. And it's created this relationship where it's okay for us to heal together, not be completely healed. We're healing each other together with each other. And that's an amazing thing to do because I believe that relationships are there to help us heal and grow together. There were times along the journey where we couldn't be together because I knew the way he was showing up for me was not what I wanted, deserved or needed at the time. But in that time, I held firm on my belief of what I knew he could be and what I knew we could be. I held firm on that. It's like having that fierce self-love within yourself that you know that you deserve everything that you want. You deserve the best version of him, the best version of you, the best versions of you together. And that you can get that and you will get that if you hold firm on this belief. That can mean sometimes saying no to a version of someone. That's okay. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get it. It just means that you're being true to yourself. You're being true to what you believe you deserve. And you are giving yourself the love that you deserve because it's not about them. Remember, it's about you. It's about what you're believing about yourself. It's about what you believe that you deserve. But by saying no to a version of someone that doesn't suit you, you're also helping them because you're not allowing them or enabling them to show up like that around you so they know that they have to level up what if you're in a relationship now and your person is not showing up in the relationship the way that you want them to well there's two ways that you can deal with this one way is to go back into yourself and go into the knowing and the trusting that the person that you're creating is evolving, is growing, is changing, and you are gonna give yourself the validation that you need. You're gonna give yourself everything that you need and you kind of emotionally distance yourself from that version. It doesn't mean that you have to tell them to go away or leave or anything like that, but you have to have the ability to emotionally distance yourself in a way that protects you from feeling hurt or abandoned or any of that stuff that might come up and you see it for what it is. You see your old story, you see all of that stuff and you soothe it and you heal it and you deal with it without expecting them to do that for you because they're not going to, that's your job, okay? So if you can be in the relationship and be able to work on this within yourself and lovingly see them for who you believe they are, through their stuff, through their bullshit, right? And you stay firm and patient with yourself and with them. Eventually, they are going to thank you for that. And they're going to move and evolve and change and grow into what you believe they actually are. That is one way of handling this. The other way is to be able to say, no, I, I don't want this version of you right now. And it's not like you have to say, I need you to be this because otherwise we're not gonna be together and blah, 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 and reacting and reacting and reacting. You say, I have to take care of myself right now. And I, I believe in you. I believe in everything that I know you can be. I'm gonna give you the space that you need to do the things that you need to do. And I've got to look after me for now. And that then gives them the space to go, okay, 
They're not trying to get anything out of me here. They're okay, they're cool on their own. And that's such an attractive thing because that means that you're not trying to get anything from them. You know, you're not trying to change them. You're not trying to manipulate them. You're trusting in knowing within yourself that you can have what you want. And then they, of course, have to then level up to that. And they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere unless you say they're going somewhere. So you can trust in having that self-respect, having those boundaries, if that's what you need to do. But if it's not, you can go back into the trusting and knowing within yourself. You just have to make sure that you are not betraying yourself. You're not betraying what feels right to you and what feels wrong to you, what feels good to you and what feels bad to you, right? Because those things that are coming up as feeling bad need to be listened to and need to be healed and need to be loved by you, okay? But if it's too difficult for you to do and you keep getting triggered and triggered and triggered, then it's time for you to take some space and work on that within yourself. And you can trust that everything will unfold exactly as it should the way that you want it to because you say so so you can lovingly give yourself and your person the time to work on these these feelings and grow into the person that you need to be for me that's what had to happen like I knew with my person that he wasn't ready and I wasn't ready to accept him the way that he was then so I had to have some space I had to say no to one version and another version and another version and eventually it happened I got the version that I wanted and I've got the version that is now so happy to be evolving and growing and learning and we're growing together and I believed that all along and he thanks me for it he really, really thanks me for it because he loves this sensation of becoming the best version of himself. It's now for him. He's doing it for him. He's not doing it for me. I didn't ask him to do it. <laughs> I didn't ask him to change anything. He's just excited about becoming the best version of himself. And how loving is that? You might have experienced that when someone sees through your shit and they say, no, you're better than this. You can be better than this. I believe in you. I'm not gonna take your shit. I, I know you can be better. It's such a loving thing when someone really believes in you. And actually, it kind of like melts away all of the stuff that you're using as protective measures and you're using as defense mechanisms and you're using to hide away from vulnerability, which is what often is happening with these misbehaviors and miscommunication. People are just afraid of being vulnerable, which is very acceptable and understandable because being vulnerable is very scary. It's not just scary for you, it's scary for them too. And this process of creating relationships takes patience and time and so much love, so much love and a blind faith sometimes that you believe that you can be the best version of you and they can be the best version of themselves too, for themselves and you for yourself it's all about an individual growth but then when you can do it together it's just amazing so let me know if this has helped you and if you have any more questions about it let me know in the comments below if you'd like some coaching then just send me an email and i'll get back to you and you can follow me on instagram too if you like it's create with corrie and i'll put the link below as well thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye